I've Joe and my beautiful wife Anna here. Guess where we're at? The lost world of Atlantis. Check it out behind us. There is Atlantis right there in Dubai. Yeah, so um, lots of high tech required on this live, <laughs> but we thought we'd give it a go because it's uh, our live, well, a little bit earlier than our normal live time. But what we want to talk to you guys today from Dubai, <laughs> from Atlantis here, is um, the video that Anastasia did on the streets of Sumi yesterday. Did you guys check that out? Um, if you haven't seen it, well, what Anastasia did is she hit the streets and she asked the uh, Ukrainian ladies, what do you think about marriage agencies? And guys, this is one of the biggest keys to your success. You need to know the honest answer to this question. So it will help you fish in the right pond in Ukraine because really the reason most guys fail in Ukraine is you're fishing in the wrong pond. Okay, so uh, that video link is in the description below this video. You definitely want to go check that out. And what else we want? Oh yeah, we want to tell you three super way cool facts about Dubai that are gonna blow your mind. You want to hit him with the first one, huh? Mm, yes, I don't know. Okay. okay. Well, you remember? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Go for it. Forty percent of gold, which uh, all people buy all over the, around the world, forty percent uh, is uh, buy by citizen of uh, no resident. Of Dubai. of Dubai yeah yeah so gold 40% of all 40%. the gold in the world is owned by Dubai residents okay is this a lot of money or what it's crazy the money here okay my personal favorite okay the standard issue cop cars in Dubai Ferrari Lamborghini or Bentley you have your choice suddenly I find myself thinking hmm maybe I want to become a cop <laughs> <laughs> was actually my first career choice because uh, my dad was a cop um, okay and what, what um, what another also one? one uh, very crazy. It oh yeah, a, yeah. How uh, would you like to pay? How much would you pay for the license plate G5? Yeah. G5 on your plate. What would you pay for that? Can I have a bid for one million dollars? Anybody? Anybody? One now? Two? Anybody? Two? Three? <laughs> four? Five? Nine? Was it nine or seven? Nine. Nine million dollars for the plate G5. The shorter. Uh, yeah, the shortest, of course, the, the most expensive. expensive. So. I've never seen money in the world like in Dubai. It's just crazy. I mean, can you imagine if you got that kind of pocket change to buy a, uh, a uh, vanity plate, G5? Okay. And what about marriage agencies? Oh, yeah, they're illegal. Oh. Marriage agencies are <laughs> illegal. As are flying drones. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> just about it got arrested earlier today. Okay. So, guys, this is going to be a little bit of a short one. Feel free to ask your questions there in chat. Um, and uh, basically, yeah, we wanted to uh, chat with you guys. Okay, I see a question. Uh, I see a question. Why, why do Ukrainian girls don't trust marriage agencies? And why don't you answer that question? I've answered it so many times. Um, basically, because all beautiful Ukrainian lady, at some time, they were invited to join marriage agency but uh, not uh, as a, with the purpose to find their love, but with the purpose to make money. And because of that, they know how bad agencies and don't, don't, don't want to be a part of this scam, scam, basically. So some of them would like to join to meet their half, but because they know that it uh, doesn't connect it about meeting their love, so they prefer to stay away from this. It basically happened to me, one lady it's not one time actually yeah she just told me she's on my instagram see i'm beautiful so she offered me to join marriage agency and i say okay at this time i was single i asked her like if i have opportunity to meet a man for to marry and she said to me oh really <laughs> i never nobody asked me about this okay i will ask my boss and then <laughs> she uh, came back to me in two days and say sorry we cannot help you we like marriage agency but we didn't accept those ladies we want another ladies kind of ladies who wants to make money and uh, I wasn't shocked you know because they call marriage agency but they have no nothing in common with you know making couples so it's true and uh, you know good ladies they basically stay out of this kind of business and the only way how they can join marriage agency if they 
know some of them by the word of mouth. Okay, so one lady shared with her friend how she got married, and she just like recently we met our couple, which we recently created. And she said, I invite three of my friends, you know, they join the agency because just just like that, because of a high level trust, of personal referral. Yeah, and the, the truth is that uh, bad ladies, they're not interested in our services, and uh, good ladies, uh, if they, they are lucky to find us somehow, they're very happy that they can find honest agency really have a purpose to you know, create a couple. They're very happy normally when they uh, <laughs> meet this opportunity. Yeah, they're very happy to join. Thank you, honey. I mean, that is um, the sweet way of putting it, as my honey always does. But basically, it's what I've been saying since I started my marriage agency. Good girls do not come to marriage agencies in Ukraine. Uh, profound statement from a marriage agency owner, but it's the truth, guys, that we only deliver you the truth. Whether it helps us, hurts us, doesn't matter. Uh, there will always be a need for our services. We know that because uh, it's not easy for you to find your other half in Ukraine. That is the God's honest truth. Um, but I will say this, your chances are a lot better finding your good other half uh, on the streets of Ukraine, in a coffee shop, in a restaurant, out and about, uh, taking English lessons, going to church, than it is going to a social, definitely, uh, and um, going to 95% of marriage agencies. So that's the honest truth, and, and the reason that is, is because what Anna just said is that, listen, Every beautiful woman in Ukraine has been at some point in her life, usually in her early 20s, I mean, when she's the youngest and most beautiful, she's been propositioned by a marriage agency to come work and make money. Nothing about love or finding your future other half, right? So she knows, she has personal experience that it's just, uh, you know, a racket. So that's why, uh, again, our job is difficult. Our job and your job, which is the same, and that is to find genuine marriage-minded ladies in Ukraine that want to marry a foreigner. That's another big one, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not easy. Because so. not too many ladies actually in Ukraine, they're open for, to marry foreign. Many of them, they would prefer to have a marriage with the same culture, Ukrainian men, or at least Slavic. Yeah, and, and, and guys, watch the video that Anastasia just did. She just hit the streets. Uh, I went live yesterday. That link is in the description below. And that was one of her questions. Would you ever th consider marrying a foreigner? Would you ever marry a foreigner? And see what they have to say. Because the other uh, statistic, it's hard to get a, a good stat on this, but basically it's around 5 or 7% of, um, you know, beautiful Ukrainian ladies would ever consider, consider marrying a foreigner. So what else do we want to talk about today? Guys, we have a really cool, uh, well, it's kind of like a pre-announcement, uh, something coming up. It's almost inked, this deal, but it's not totally. And that is a reality TV show featuring Match Guarantee called Who Wants to Marry a Foreigner? Okay, and um, yeah, it would be a bachelor type show featuring uh, match guarantee client and match guarantee ladies. So more on that coming up and uh, you guys, we're going to open up the floodgates to accept, uh, helicopter. yeah, helicopter, uh, billionaire checking out uh, the castle here. Uh, we're gonna open up the floodgates to accepting contestants for the reality TV show. And I can promise you this, I'm not sure if the whole thing is gonna be pro bono, but at least your $8,000 match guarantee fee, it's gonna be on us. So you definitely want to, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel uh, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss when we open up the gates on contestants to apply for that. So uh, the sun is setting here. Should we show them the sunset, hun? It's beautiful. Wow, place. stunning, huh? Yeah, stunning, beautiful. So any, any more questions uh, as we let you go here from Atlantis, Dubai? Okay, guys, I, no, I we will catch you. Um, you definitely want to catch the upcoming uh, live stream. It's been delayed a bit because it's a very big project. It's called Online Dating Scam Hack. I'm really passionate about this project. 
It is a project that's gonna involve you, guys like you, guys that have been scammed by the various on-site online uh, dating site scams, uh, the PPL scams for the most part. And the reason I'm excited about that, this is because all you guys that are being scammed on PPL, it's gonna become so obvious that you're being scammed. It's a little hack that's very easy to do and it's gonna tell you unequivocally that you're being scammed and graphically, and you're gonna know beyond the shadow of a doubt that you're being scammed once and for all. So you can then liberate yourself, cut the threads, and enter over into the pool of the real world in Ukraine where you can meet an incredibly beautiful and amazing traditional values woman that's real that's gonna show up uh, at your dinner date in Kiev when you invite her out, okay? So that's coming up. We're asking for involvement from you guys. So any guys that wanna participate in this, um, let's say you've been scammed by xyz.com, PPL site. You would take on that project, that site, and you would employ uh, the scam hack. And then you would share the results with everybody. It's gonna be a very much a collaborative effort. effort. So all of the big sites, we're probably gonna hit 20, 30 websites of the big, big ones anyway. And you guys are welcome to nominate sites as well, write it in the description below, or go to community on our YouTube channel and you can see a survey there. And you can see all the sites that we're gonna tackle and then a lot more. So that's it for now. So definitely, guys, you don't wanna miss out on that. Click the uh, subscribe button, the bell icon, so we'll notify you when we go live on that, which will be within the next week or two. Anything else, son? Okay, bye from Atlantis. Stay safe. <laughs> Stay, Stay safe, safe yeah. yeah. And life continues, <laughs> even with coronavirus. Yes, enjoy life, hey? Enjoy you, life. Don't let corona ruin it too much. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.